hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today we will configure uh, netting on fortigate firewall so this is a very uh, simple type of netting it is known as uh, static net source net which is similar to pat in cisco what will happen if the internal user uh, with a private ip address is trying to get uh, trying to communicate with the outside world so this internal ip address will get translated to the WAN interface IP address, which is which will be the public IP address, okay. And if if there are multiple users, the users this all the users will get the same IP address, which is configured on this port one, okay. But the major difference will be each and every user will have a different port number. So this is the speciality of uh, source net in FortiGate firewall, which is also known as static net. So I'll configure the FortiGate firewall now. Sorry. So I have configured the port one from the CLI. Now I'll configure the port two. So we have to create two policies. First one will be the port to from LAN to WAN. Okay. So here we are having our NAT option. Okay. So use outgoing interface address which means this is similar which is uh, which is known as source net static net okay if you want to use dynamic net dynamic ip uh, address net translation i will con uh, uh, will uh, continue in the next video i will explain you in the further videos how we are going to configure it so in this video i'll uh, you know only tell you how we can configure pat so it is a very simple configuration you have to just select the net and use outgoing interfaces and click on OK. Now we have to create the bidirectional policies from WAN to LAN. As of now, it is not required, but I'm just I just wanted to uh, show you one uh, small difference. That's why I'm configuring. So when the the firewall policies when the traffic is coming from the outside interface to the inside interface in that in that case we don't need netting okay so you can disable the net because we are trying to communicate with the inside users only okay now we will uh, do the testing i have configured this pc i will try to communicate with the internet So now how you can verify on FortiGate firewall if the NAT is happening or not. Session list. You guys can see the user, this user 10.1.1.2 okay, is having source port as this one and it is getting translated to the WAN side interface which is port 1. I will show you that interface. 192.168.0.3 okay and randomly it is assigning any port number to it so in this case the WAN side IP address will remain the same okay there is no you know uh, there are no other IP addresses so if you want to configure a dynamic pool over here so that will be cons uh, that will be c you know shown in the section of uh, dynamic netting in FortiGate firewall see you guys can see it but here there are some limitations if there are large number of users okay and uh, for example say there are uh, 20 users or 30 users they will use the same IP address okay and there are chances that ports 
which this firewall is uh, allocating to this uh, internal IP address see these ports there are chances that these ports can get exhausted so to overcome this we are having dynamic net I will con uh, I will cover dynamic net in the upcoming videos so you can note down this command get system session list okay and you can see translation is happening I hope you guys have liked this video stay uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you